Donald question, Lord Wood of Vanfield. My Lords, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. Uh, my Lords, we are making necessary preparations to ensure a new government will have options to deliver additional support as quickly as possible. Further to the support measures announced in May, the Government will of course continue to support low income and fuel poor households with their energy bills through the warm home discount, winter fuel payments and the cold weather payments schemes to ensure that the most vulnerable are better able to heat their homes over the cold winter months. My Lords, the, the incoming Prime Minister spent the summer um, repeatedly pledging income tax cuts, yet 43 per cent of adults, including those of course in the greatest need, pay no income tax and wouldn't benefit from this. Meanwhile, her pledge to reverse the national insurance rise will give the poorest 10 per cent of households £7.60 a year and the richest 10 per cent £1,800 a year. Now, when asked about this, the new Prime Minister said, quote, to look at everything through the lens of redistribution is wrong. Does the Minister think it is fair, at a time of such widespread fear amongst low-income households, to prioritise income tax cuts that would give the most frightened families no help whatsoever? Yeah. Well, the noble lord is, uh, is commenting on proposals that he hasn't yet seen, um, so the House will not have long to wait. Uh, a lot of options have been worked on over the summer, as well as putting the preparations in place for the energy bills support scheme, which I'll remind the House is going to be rolled out from the 1st of October in a series of monthly payments. Uh, other options have been prepared. The price rise on energy is unprecedented. We all know the reasons for that, and uh, the noble lord will have to be patient to wait and see what we announce. My lord, my lord, does my uh, noble friend um, not uh, agree that the reason that 46 per cent don't pay income tax is because this government has raised their thresholds? But can I just ask him, if it was right, if it was right to pay an extra £20 on universal credit during lockdown, when circumstances were bad, they're considerably worse now, and therefore should we not look to increase the payments on a temporary basis on universal credit? I, I think my noble friend makes powerful points on, uh, on both the issues that he raises. Of course, the, we should be proud of our record on uh, taking the lowest paid out of income tax uh, altogether, um, but I'm sure the new PM will want to bear in mind his, uh, his words. My Lords, would, the, would it not be a good idea, if we're going to give these assistant packages, that we actually have some uh, document that states very clearly the government's thinking behind it and actually what they sacrifice? Because if we get it wrong, we will primarily end up paying for this in the health service. Yeah. I'm not quite sure I quite understand the point that the noble lord uh, is making. Of course, all of the appropriate uh, documentation would be produced. Um, a lot of these schemes, uh, it's, it's easy to bandy around sort of large numbers, as we've seen uh, recently, but they actually take a lot of time to, to implement. And uh, you know, officials in my department, I know, have been working solidly over the summer in order to implement the last package of, uh, of, of announcements, the Energy Bills uh, Support Scheme, which is why it's now ready to go from the first uh, of next month. But uh, you know, a considerable amount of very swift work would be required to implement a new package as well. Could, um, could my noble friend? clinically vulnerable people whose lives depend on the equipment they have at home, such as oxygen concentrators, pressure relieving mattresses or ventilators, in, and of course also warmth in cold weather, and that they must be listed on a clinically vulnerable list, but these lists must be kept up to date to ensure that there's electric electricity supply isn't cut off if they're unable to pay their bills and they do need additional financial help. Otherwise, as has already been suggested, they will end up being emergency hospital admissions to an NHS which already can't cope with the pressures on it. Well, I, I agree with the noble lady. You know, she uh, lists one particularly vulnerable group. There are other vulnerable groups as well. Uh, as, well as, as well as many small businesses and others who will suffer because of the uh, high uh, rates of, uh, of energy prices at the moment. We're all aware of that. We all know the problem. Of course, uh, coming up with solutions is, is difficult and potentially expensive, but we are working on it. My Lords, my Lords, it's very good to hear that a plan is in place to uh, address this catastrophe which is concerning so many people and bring help to households. Could I ask what steps the Government will also take to address so fundamental a failure of the market, such that huge, almost unimaginable profits are accruing to energy companies, while the poorest in the country face the dreadful alternative between heating and eating. 
Uh, the, my Reverend President is not actually correct on that. It would depend when he says energy companies, it would depend on who he was talking about. Many of the energy suppliers, we've seen many of them go bankrupt actually over the last year, they're making very, very marginal uh, profits. There are some producers, often in other parts of the world, who are making very large uh, profits. There, is, uh, there are issues to do with some of the early uh, renewable power obligations companies who are also doing well, although under the latest, latest contracts for different schemes, that money is being recouped from the taxpayer. But like on all of these things, it's easy to make these uh, observations, but of course it's an overly complicated situation. My Lords, uh, following from the, the right Reverend Plant, figures from the University of York suggest four out, of four, four out of five households will face fuel poverty by January, and millions of people are struggling to make ends meet. The I newspaper reported yesterday that the new PM is following the pattern of the former PM, screeching to a U-turn, now saying direct intervention in fuel crisis is necessary and is following Labour's proposals to freeze energy bills. So can the Minister tell us if and when we can expect this to be delivered? Well, as I said to uh, Lord Wood, the Noble Lord will have to be a little bit patient, allow the PM to, to look at all of the various uh, options. I know she's been doing work on that over the last uh, few days. Um, I'm sure the House won't have long to wait. Would my noble friend take um, a particular interest in those who are entirely dependent uh, on benefits disability benefits in particular, and for whom that is their only source of income. I declare an interest having some responsibility for close relatives in this position. Whatever happens in the future, to date, for example, people on, um, uh, on employment support allowance are divided into two groups. Uh, one group who are deemed to be contributors through their national insurance contributions in the past are eligible for the grants that are available now, and others who are not, who haven't had that experience, get nothing. Um, this does seem to be the worst form of discrimination. Well, I think the, uh, my old friend is talking about the um, warm homes discount, which uh, we uh, retargeted in the summer. Actually, another three quarters of a million people became eligible for it. Something like three million people are now uh, eligible, uh, and we were trying to target it at the most uh, vulnerable. But clearly, there are lots of different groups that we will need to look very closely at. Lords, uh, I have uh, spent the. My lords, my, my lords, my postman asked me a question the other day that I wasn't able to answer, and I hope the noble lord might be able to help. He's on a tariff that guarantees him 100% renewable electricity. The cost of generating renewable electricity has fallen, and yet his bill is more than doubling. He doesn't understand this, and neither do I. Either these renewable tariffs are nothing of the sort, they're just greenwashing, or companies must be profiteering outrageously. Which is it? And if it is profiteering, is it right that taxpayers should subsidise that? No. Oh. Uh, again, it's a good question, and the answer is, com the answer is complicated. The marginal rate of uh, electricity uh, is, is set because of, of the highest uh, contributor to that, which at the moment is gas-fired uh, generation. That's why we've launched the review of uh, market, uh, market uh, arrangements uh, that is urgently looking at exactly that uh, situation, because, of course, the noble lord makes a powerful point. I have spent the last few weeks visiting pawnbrokers across parts of London to see how the people at the bottom of the pile are managing. They are pawning vacuum cleaners, microwave ovens, radios, televisions, bicycles, DIY tools, and one lady even brought a toaster so that she could get five pounds to buy a birthday card and a present for her friend. That is the level of abject poverty that we have at the bottom. Uh, through, the prime, uh, through the minister, uh, can I invite, or can he on my behalf invite the Prime Minister to accompany me to visit the pawnbrokers and see for herself what has happened to the people under this government? Well, I'm not sure pawnbrokers are necessarily something that has just uh, arisen under this government, but in terms of the general point, of course, I totally accept the point the Noble Lord is making, that there are many people uh, actually on all income levels that are suffering because of this, uh, this crisis, which we all know, of course, ultimately was caused by Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Um, but it is a, it is a difficult problem. Uh, there are no simple and easy answers, and all the potential solutions are very expensive. They need to be looked at closely, and I'm sure the PM will do that. Mr. Confirm that. Sorry, I think it's this side, probably. 
Uh, could the Minister please confirm whether the Government is still intending to give £400 to all households, regardless of their income, and two or three times that if they happen to own two or three properties, and why they are not redistributing that money to those who really, really need it? Yeah. Uh, yes, that is the uh, intention, and again, uh, the, the reasons for it are, are long and complex, if I could just explain to the noble lady. By far the largest package of the support measures that are, were announced are, in fact, going to those on the lowest uh, income. However, having said that, there is a recognition that those who don't necessarily rely on benefits, that aren't necessarily on the lowest income, perhaps the, what's referred to as the just about managing, are also suffering and deserve uh, some help. And it's actually very difficult with, uh, with, current, uh, with current policies to target support directly at those people. We wanted to get the support out as quickly as possible, and that's the reason why one element of the package was a universal element to ensure that support did go to the just about managing uh, as well. But as I said, the majority of the packages is actually targeted at those on the lowest incomes, which is, why it should, which is correct.